Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. From this video tutorial onwards, for the next few video tutorials, I would like to discuss CSS background properties. That is, CSS properties with respect to background. The first CSS background property I would like to discuss is background color property. CSS background color property is used to specify the background color for an HTML element. Various values that we can assign to background color property are We can assign a color name like red, green, blue, yellow, cyan, magenta, etc. We can also assign a hexadecimal color value. We know that hexadecimal color values begin with the hash symbol. There will be six digits, two digits dedicated for red color, two digits dedicated for green color, two digits dedicated for the blue color. We can also assign RGB function. The first position is dedicated for red color, second position is dedicated for green color, third position is dedicated for the blue color. Minimum value we can pass is 0, maximum value we can pass is 255, that is 0 to 255. 0 indicates absence of that color, 255 indicates full presence of that color. Also we can assign RGBA function. First position is dedicated for red color, second position is dedicated for green color, third position is dedicated for blue color, fourth position is dedicated for alpha. Alpha indicates transparency, zero indicates full transparency, one indicates no transparency. Let's see the demonstration and understand how we can use the background color property, apply the background color to various HTML elements. I go to the notepad, you can see that I have already opened default.html in the notepad it has the basic HTML document structure code written, title is set to CSS properties demo. I have already opened default.html in the Chrome, title is set to CSS properties demo. One of the important thing you need to observe is, by default web pages are going to have the background color set to white. We can change the background color by using the CSS background color property. I go to the notepad in the head section. I say here opening style tag type equal to text or CSS then I say closing style tag I tell to the browser locate any body element in this page apply background color of black semicolon you can see I am using the color name file save go to browser and refresh background color is set to black also I can set here red file save go to browser refresh the background color change to red i can say here green file save go to browser and refresh background color is set to green this time i set back to black file save go to browser and refresh web page background color is set to black i go to the notepad in the body section i create some divs i say here div i say id div1 here i say div1 content Closing div, I tell to the browser, locate any div in this page, apply width of 100 pixels, then height of 100 px, file save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the div is not visible because by default divs are going to have transparent background. I go to the notepad, here I tell, locate any div in this page, if it has an id of div1, apply background color to red semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see the div is visible the background color is set to red i can say here font size to 16 pt semicolon file save go to browser and refresh now the div one has the font size set to 16 points Instead of using the color name, I can use a hexadecimal color value. I say here hash ff0000 indicates the red color. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see there is no change. I can say here hash ff, ff, ff which indicates the white color. File, save, go to browser and refresh. Div1 has the white color background color set now. I hope you guys are understanding how we can use the hexadecimal color value. Here I say ff0000 which indicates the red color. File, save, go to browser and refresh. Div1 has the red background color set. Similarly, I create one more div. 
I copy this, paste here. This is going to be div2. The content I say div2. I tell to the browser, locate any div in this page. If it has an ID of div2, apply the background color to red semicolon. Div2 is going to have width 100 pixel, height 100 pixel, font size 16 point, background color red. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the div2 also has the red background color. Instead of using the color name, this time I use the RGB function. I say red 0, green 255, blue 0. File, save, go to browser and refresh. Div2 has now the green color. That is how you can use the RGB function friends. Similarly, I am going to create one more div. I copy that, paste down. This is going to be div3. Here I say div3. I copy this code, paste down. I tell to the browser, locate any div in this page. If it has an ID of div3, apply the green color background. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see div3 created. It also has the green color background set. Instead of using the RGB function, I can use RGBA function. Here I say comma 1, red 0 green 255 that means the background color is going to be set to be green color and it is not going to have any transparency it is going to be visible full file save go to browser and refresh you can see there is no change right similarly i can say here uh, i say 255 here also i say 255 that indicates the white color friends file save go to browser and refresh you can see div3 has the background color set to white now, I use the transparency alpha value. I reduce the alpha value to 0.5. File, save, go to browser and refresh. I think you can be able to observe that we can be able to see the background color black from the div3. We have the, the transparency set now. This is not much more intuitive. What I do now, I set the background image to the body tag. I add an attribute background. To that, I give the image name fort.jpg, which is available at the desktop. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the background image is set. And also you can observe div3 is having the transparency set 0.5. We can be able to see the background image from div3. If I say here 1, there will be no transparency. File, save, go to browser and refresh. I can't see the background image from div3, right? That is the meaning of alpha friends. Alpha sets the transparency 0.2. File, save, go to browser and refresh. That is the meaning of alpha or transparency. It is very, very useful friends. The alpha value help us to apply the transparency to the background color. Okay. Here I say 0.5, file, save, go to browser and refresh. We can use any color. It's not that white only you need to use. I use a black color, 0, 0, 0 indicates the black color. File, save, go to browser and refresh. That's the black color. There is a difference between alpha and the opacity property. There is a property called as opacity in CSS. Let me comment this line and then here I say opacity to 0 semicolon. If I say opacity 0, file, save, go to browser and refresh, you don't find the div3. Also the content is not visible. There is no div3 text visible, right? Whereas if I say here the background color RGBA 0000, here also I give 0. Okay, I comment this line, file, save, go to browser and refresh. I can see the text only the background is not visible. Here, remember that the background color, alpha value if you set 0, only the background color is not going to be visible. Only the background is not going to be visible. Text will be visible. If you set the opacity 0, then the entire element is not going to be visible. The text also is not going to be visible. Okay? Opacity also, you can give 0 to 1. I am going to remove that. We discuss more on opacity later friends. Let me set it back to 0.5. File, save, go to browser and refresh. 
now we have div3 with little bit opacity set we can see the text also properly right we can apply various effects if we want like box shadow of 0px 0px 5px white semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see there is a light shadow effect added background color property is very very useful uh, css property to create more appealing websites for this tutorial this much is enough friends i hope you guys have clearly understood how you can use the css background color property to apply the background color to various html elements use color name hexadecimal color value rgb function rgba function what's the meaning of alpha you can also use the value transparent it sets the not entire element only the background color to be transparent for this tutorial this much is enough friends i suggest you people to experiment more for this tutorial this much is enough in the next tutorial we get more information on css properties for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial